then move on to holiday, the Spanish 12 inch of holiday, 45 maxi single. So you can see the words holiday across the top there. This is actually the 12 inch single, which does look a little like the debut album, but is different obviously in the fact that um, the Spanish wanted a unique picture cover. It features Lucky Star on the B side. Um, and uh, has just a, a different un cover to other countries in that, that issued that track listing um, holiday usually comes with Think of Me or I Know It on the B-side as you can see here with the UK pressing this one has Think of Me now the this has a special sticker as it was printed with a, re uh, with a wrong uh, error code and I had to stick play some stickers on there with the correct code so these are the very first state pressings and are quite rare now, um, Holiday in South Africa was issued on a 12-inch dance mix EP. This is called the Holiday I Know It dance mix. As you can see, the front cover has some tribal dancing figures, notably with um, blonde hair, uh, maybe to tie in with Madonna's look at the time. But this has two tracks, two holiday uh, mixes of Holiday, and I Know It on the B-side. It's an official Warner Brothers pressing. It's a beautiful sleeve, impossible to find. Very rare track. You want to track that down if you're a serious collector. This is another version of Holiday. This time it has Lucky Star on the B-side. This is the German pressing, which is similar to the UK pressing we saw previously with a different track listing. One of the nicest covers is the Holiday original UK train pressing or locomotive sleeve pressing. This is beautiful. It has Think of Me on the B-side, UK part number um, made specifically for the UK uh, and they're really quite nice. There are a few of them around but they're nice to track down and have in the collection simply because they're unique. German pressing for holiday, backed with Lucky Star. Uh, that's the original pressing you see there, the original 83 pressing that was then reissued in 1985 with a white bordered sleeve. Here is the unique picture sleeve for holiday, the Australian version on absolutely beautiful ah. sleeve design. And what we have is something that uh, looks different to anywhere else in the world. The sleeve has been made uh, a little different for the Australian market. You can see the back cover and the front cover. A nice, unique tin uh, pink tinted sleeve design. Absolutely beautiful. Those copies are very hard to find in great condition as they're delicate sleeves. Borderline, US pressing. Stand this one has Borderline and Lucky Star on the B-side, so uh, two hits back-to-back. -back. It was made to promote Lucky Star. At that stage, it hadn't been released as a single, so they placed it on the back. This is the US, the UK pressing of Borderline with a US remix of the title, so it has Borderline, two mixes, and physical attraction. You'll note in the corner here that there is an actual code on the yellow background. That's the original first state pressings. Now, the reissue has the same front cover, However, the back has a white circle. Now these are much harder to find, the reissues with the white circle. For some reason, they are just harder to track down. Maybe they sold more the second time around, but in 1983, she wasn't that popular, so there are many copies of those 12 inches. This is the Borderline 12 inch, original 12 inch from the Philippines with a nice die cut sleeve. That's the record with the Lucky Star on the B side. That's quite hard to find in comparison to the other version, which is the second version of Borderline released in the Philippines, which is a little easier to track down. It's just a generic yellow sleeve, nonetheless a nice 12 inch. The German pressing of Borderline, similar to the European, uh, the UK pressings, except that it has a barcode on the B side. This is just a um, backing insert to promote the picture disc um, for Borderline, the reissue. Now that'll feature in another video, not in this one, for the moment I just wanted to show you the insert. This is the Portuguese pressing of Borderline, which you can see has a bit of a cropped sleeve, blown up and cropped, so it's a bit different in terms of how the artwork's been treated. In the back, the track listing's pretty much the same, but these were produced in Portugal, were only a few of those were made. This is the original US pressing of Borderline. You can see a little sticker in the front there with a little swirl. It's highlighting the remixes of both Borderline and Lucky Star that appear on this 12 inch. The first copies came with this stickered 12 inch. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the track listing there. It ties into the graphic in the background. Nice record if you can track it down. Another Australian issue, the Borderline Triple Mix. Once again, the original stickers that come um, from the press straight from WEA Records Australia. These is, this, is, this is how they were actually issued. Now, you'll note that it's titled as the Triple Mix. The reason for that is the Borderline 
um, were featured on this three times. So the extended mix, edit, and instrumental versions, hence the, the name Triple Mix. Also has an absolutely beautiful, unique picture sleeve. You want to try and get those if you can, as they're becoming harder to find. This is the Spanish pressing of Borderline. The back cover is very different. It's a blue tinted sleeve with different colors. Um, there's some Spanish writing on there, but very few of these were made. The color, uh, the pressings look a little different to the other pressings in terms of their color treatment. This is a Mexican pressing titled the Supermix of Borderline and Lucky Star. As you can see there, it's been translated in Spanish. Now, um, these are a little harder to find as well, being that they're from South America. The back cover's got the translation in Spanish and English, uh, highlighting what track listings on the back. So they're really nice if you can track them down. This is the US promotional 12 inch of Borderline, which was sent to DJs. There are two versions of Borderline. There it says promotional copy only, not for sale, with a really nice cover, different to any of our other covers. It's um, nice to have in the collection. The ultra rare and legendary sunglasses sleeve for Lucky Star. This is the full length version, the original 12 inch as it appeared in the UK before she had become really famous where she's wearing the sunglasses sleeve. You can see it's an absolutely beautiful picture sleeve, the UK part number. These are very hard to track down and now becoming very expensive, but these were the first issues of Lucky Star and how they appeared. Then in 1984, after the success of Holiday, Lucky Star was reissued with this cover. First copies came with a poster, uh, poster uh, tucked into the sleeve. Um, so the track listing was the same, but you can see that the actual, um, even the part number was the same as the others, but the sleeves are totally different and this one is a rare poster edition, which is harder to track down as well. Now, Lucky Star promotional US 12 inch, backed by Holiday and the B-side. So these were promotional copies only sent out to DJs. The reason for that was they wanted to promote Lucky Star as the next single after the release of Burning Up to help promote the album. But what happened was they started playing Holiday because they saw that Jelly Bean was the producer and hence um, Holiday became the lead off single for the album. So this is a little bit of Madonna history. Um, it's nice to have a copy of that as they're the promo promos only and will never available in shops. Another US uh, or another promo like item is the US remix of Lucky Star, which was made in the UK. This one is the extended mix. Um, it has a different part number and has been rumored to be a, a promotional version meant solely for DJs. It was released commercially, but very few of them were made. And the German 12 inch of Lucky Star, which has similar features to the UK 12 inch. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be um, posting some more. Stay tuned.